Hi guys, welcome back to a new video tutorial series. So this series will be mainly focused on Python and specifically for this video, I will show you how to install Python 3 on your Windows as well as the IDE. IDE is basically a place where you can write all your code and compile it to get the result from what you write. So before getting into the video, I will just uh, quickly show you the top 10 uh, popular programming. So when you go to Google and search for the phrase, and here I open up some of the website, you can see that Python is the most popular one, as well as the fast test growing uh, general purpose, and where it can be specifically for the fields of uh, data science, uh, analytics, statistics, ML, machine learning or the artificial intelligence and all as well and there's a lot more reasons here and this is another one just quickly look into that you can see that the top one which is python again and uh, the same uh, this one can be used in the uh, ai or finance uh, financial services uh, data science and a lot more and this is the charts where you can see and another one right here again python is the first one the most popular one uh, data science robotics and big data as well and um, there's a lot of reasons here it's easy to learn easy to read and uh, we can just use this uh, you can see that it is an excellent choice for the beginners and it can now also be integrated with the c uh, c plus uh, plus programming languages and there's a lot more but right now we won't go in detail in this okay and now let's just get right into it on how to install the python 3 all right so to download the python you can go to python.org and then head over to the download sections click on that one so right here you can see that the latest versions for window which is python 3.9.0 and now let's just quickly scroll down here uh, you can also see that this is the uh, previous uh, versions of Python. Um, right here, let me just scroll down a little bit. You can see that Python 2 is still available and this is the release date which is this year uh, on the 20th of April. And you can see that there are two main Python versions which is version 2 and 3. but right now we going to download the latter version which is version 3 um, right here you can scroll down you can see that this is another python 2 and it keep releasing although that uh, there's a lot of the python uh, version 3s uh, are releasing anyway let now just head back here and try to download the latest versions which is version 3.9.0 okay so now let's just wait until this one finished Alright, so while the software is still downloading, I quickly search for the Python 2 support end of life. You can see that from the 1st of January 2020, uh, there is no new bug report fixes or change will be made to Python 2 anymore. So no longer supported uh, for the uh, Python version 2. So uh, that's mainly the reasons why we're going to focus on the latter versions. Alright, so here it is uh, downloaded let's just quickly install this one so here uh, we can see that we can install this and also add python 3.9 to path so now let's just uh, also add this one to path as well so path uh, what it does is that basically when you search for the env or the system environment variable you can see that when i click on that and here this is the option uh, the path right here uh, there's nothing so once we uh, check this one it will just uh, add the path to this variable right here okay so now let's just uh, quickly install this one All right, set up was successful. Let's just now close this one. So once it's installed, let's just uh, quickly search for this one again, the environment. And here you can click on the environment variables. And now you can see that when you select this path and click on this uh, edit, 
you can see that we now have the Python 3.9 uh, scripts as well as this one added to the uh, path variable. So uh, by default, yours probably have uh, the others as well. So uh, just to make sure that these two are included and it can be the others as well for yours. So that's uh, we install that uh, the Python and to make sure that Python is actually installed, let's just uh, quickly do the py, uh, cmd and type python. Right here you can see that the version which is 3.9 is now installed. Okay, so next one I'm going to show you how to download the ID uh, that's specifically created for the python which is called pycharm. Let's just search for that. Alright, so here it is. This is pycharm. You can see that specifically for the python language. Okay, so uh, we can just click on the first link here. And this is the IDE. So we can just head over to the download section. Okay, so right here we have um, different OS. So Windows, let's just close this. Windows, Mac and Linux. So this is the professional, which is basically you have to pay for it after the uh, trial. And this is the community versions. And uh, let's just click this one. This is free, open source. Let now just install the PyCharm. Run. Okay, so right here, uh, there are a few installation options. So this is the 64-bit launcher. Uh, just select this one, and this is the update path variable where it just add the launcher directory to the path. So remember just to check this one as well. And the other one, which is the uh, open folders as projects. So if you want to right click on a folder and then just made it as the Python project, you can do that as well. So right here, I'm going to tick that one and create association, which is contain the Python file. So I don't want to do this one. So now we have these three checks and it's good to go. Let's just click on the next button. Okay, so this is just install it as usual. Okay, so here uh, if you want to reboot now or uh, you can just want to manually reboot later. Okay, so uh, it's time now to just uh, quickly search for PyCharm right here. And here, if uh, we have the configuration or the existing uh, installation folder, we can just select that. If not, we can just click on the do not import settings. Uh, we have two options. One is the dark mode and the other one is the light mode. So I'm going to go with the first one. And next, um, this is the features uh, plugins where you can just uh, try to install for the additional uh, plugins. Uh, say this one is the all language supports, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Let's just quickly start the PyCharm software. Okay, so here it is. Um, this is the screen where you can click on this one to create a new project. So here, this is the location. Uh, I'm going to just uh, copy the part here where it says uh, Python projects and Python projects because I'm going to put it in my dry D. Okay, so here it is in dry D and now let's just paste it. So what this does, this is the folder and this is the project itself. So for this project, I'm going to call it as the uh, hello world. Just like that, small letter and this is the capital letter. Um, right here we have in the other options where 
you can just select the new environment using the virtual environment or the other one right here just using the existing in interpreter so for the existing interpreter you can just click on this and uh, there's a lot more here uh, for the system interpreter uh, if you want to use the existing one which is located uh, in this uh, machine uh, the windows where uh, this is you can just uh, click on or select this one right here so right now uh, I have uh, two versions of Python, version 2 and 3. Uh, if you want to select the per version 3, you can do that here as well. Um, and if not, we can just quickly go back and try to use the environment using the virtual environment. So the difference here is for the virtual environment, uh, specifically it will create only for this um, projects which is hello world but if you use the existing one if there are a change to this then it will just affect all of them so I would say that uh, let's just keep using this one right here the virtual environment and uh, it's again the base interpreter it used the uh, Python uh, 3 okay so now uh, for this one, uh, it asks if we want to create a man.python welcome script. Uh, I don't want to do that because we want to start it from scratch. So let's just click on the create right here. And now it try to create the virtual environment. So if you use the existing one, uh, it won't create that. Let me just uh, also quickly uh, navigate to the dry D and show you what we got inside. Okay, so right here you can see that we have the virtual environment folder created for this particular uh, project which is Hello World. But if you select the existing one, again this one will not be created. Okay, so now let's just uh, come back and this is the folder. So in this folder, I want to create a new file. So right click on this folder and select file. Uh, I'm going to call this as app.py stand for the Python, Python file. Okay, so now we have this. Uh, I want to also uh, zoom in the fonts. So now I'm going to go with the, so this is for the appearance, select 14. Okay, so this is bigger and the other one which is the editor and font uh, I want to increase the font size let's say 20 now um, this is what it looked like right here we have all of the navigation just as we seen in the folder and right here this is the place where we write all our codes so now to print out the hello world text uh, basically you can just write the print and it can be either quotes or double quotes. So let's just go with the double quote. And right here you can just write hello world with the exclamation mark. And next what you have to do, you need to navigate to the run. And you can see that there's a run button right here. So first it asks uh, which one we want to run. Select the app.python or app.py. And here this is the result. So we now have created our first project, which is Hello World. Also, if you may change to, to this text, so let's say, welcome to my YouTube channel. And you can also click on this button right here as well, or you can also click on the Shift plus F10 on your keyboard. That would do the same. So now let me just click on this button. And here you can see that this is the other one which is welcome to my YouTube channel. So that's uh, how we create our first Python uh, program. So next things I want to quickly show you how powerful the Python programming language is. Okay, so right here, uh, this is how to get the current date and time in Python. So let's just scroll down a little bit and you can see that this is the code that we're going to copy. And right here, go back and try to uh, paste this line of code. So right here, you can see that we have three line of codes only. So now let's just uh, click on the run app. You can see that this is the current date, uh, which we can just get the date right away from here. 
within this line of code. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not gonna try to explain you what we got so far because we will get into this in the future videos. And now let me just quickly show you the other one, which is right here, example three, get the current date and time. Let's just copy all of this. Again, paste it right here and click on this. Here, you can see that this is now the date, uh, which is the time. And this is the uh, date and time. So you can see that within these few lines of code, we get what we want. And this is how powerful the language is. See you guys in the next video.